Hey guys, Jimmy here, and welcome back to Building Bucky Station. This is part two of the tutorial remake. Um, so let's get going. Right, so this is where we left off last 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 time, um, and we did that for a very good reason. That this is where things start to get a bit more complicated. Um, so first off, you want to make literally just put this along too, just like that. There we go. Perfect. And then you just want to start piecing things along like this. There we go. Now this is where choice starts coming in. Um, and possibly it starts turning to night, yeah? There we go. Right, so now you've got to decide which side you want to enter your track selector. Now for me, I want to enter in this direction, um, just because I do, and I want to, and this is the way I want to do it, um, but you can choose the other side, and I will try to explain so that you can manage to do both ways. Now, when you come into the track selector, what is supposed to happen is, on the first, well, this piston sh gets powered, and then one tick later, this piston gets powered then this piston, this piston, and then eventually you'll get to your slot and which the, the the line will be cut so no more of these pistons can be pushed out and these pistons at the top with the glass can just shoot down. Now if that doesn't make any sense to you, it doesn't really matter all you need to know is that these timings have to increase by one tick every two if that makes any sense at all um, which I can clearly see I'm not doing a very good job at. But what we're going to start with is here. So if we come over to here, just like this, and we piece this on the top, just like that, and then we catch the side of that one and work along. Now, this is the part where, like I say, things get complicated and. Um, so you're going to have to kind of sort of trust me on this. Now this station, as I may have said in the last video, works, um, is different on every four stations. So the first four, so four different pieces, and they all slot in an order. Now what you're going to do is you're going to choose, um, so this is going to be number one. So for number one we're going to have repeater, red block, repeater, for these first three. The second we're going to have dust dust repeater. The third we're going to have repeater repeater red. Then we're going to have um, then we're going to have dust repeater dust. And now we just need to copy that along. So this one we're gone this is number one, it's number two, number three, number four. Then we're back to number one because it works on all, every four. So we're going to have repeater block repeater and then dust dust um, so the first one literally just alternating between whether it's dust and repeater so we can go and fill those up now just like that so it switches between and then you want to have repeater repeater space space repeater repeater space space repeater repeater I oh, know I did the wrong amount of spaces um, space, space, repeater, repeater, space. Um, and then in the two spaces, on the right hand side of the two that we left, we want red blocks, and to the left of the red blocks, we want dust. Uh, this all makes sense if you bear with me. <laughs> so then we want to, after these ones, we've got the red block in now, just double repeater. So as you can see, those, that's a section, um, that's a section and they nice to round those off. Now for the ones we still have, the right hand side ones we want to be a block, that's a right hand side one. Um, the right, that's on the right, that's that. And then to the left of the block you want dust. So you've got something like this. So if we walk along it now, this is design one, design two, design three and design four. Design one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. And if you want to keep on going, um, the next one will be four, um, but once again, you would need a booster for these reset lines 
um, if you want to do more than 15. So now what these have defined is how the pistons at the back here work. It may seem like a load of gobbledygook, but that doesn't matter. Now our main priority here is to keep these pistons here from turning on with a bud switch um, when the current passes near them. So what we're going to do is we're going to first off build a nice level <laughs> top like this or attempt to um, there we go mm, all the way along um, it's not very level <laughs> right there we go get rid of this there we go now when it passes through a block what it will do is there we go it will line up light up two lines now the reason for this is that the one line will be able to cut the current off which will be this line and this line will be cut it from going to the designated piston uh, doesn't it yeah with the rail that is um, so for this line at the back here you want to literally just do something like that and then you want to work your way up by having a red block there um, so that's where the piston will a piston will eject that block um, be standard that's where the piston base and that's where it will be mounted on now that's just a way I use to figure out where my stuff needs to be so that gives us this line which we want to copy all the way along just like that now if we continue in this kind of fashion by do every second block just putting in things like that and then um, so, yeah, so remember leaving it that cap. Awesome. Now here you just want to put the um, wool, and those will just suck them up when they need them. Now for here, you want to just do two along, like this, uh, like that. There we go. Perfect. And then you want to expand this one by one, so one more. I go the sideways. Brilliant. So here you just literally just want to put three along here. Um, like that. And once again, don't worry that it's not seeming to make any sense. It will all work itself out. Then you want to make blocks along here. Like this. Oh, my bad. Okay, like that. And then in the direction you're going into the track selector, so I'm going in from this air, this side, I want to put repeaters going in that direction, like this. Like that. And you can scrap that one. Um, so you have this sort of shape, which once again seems to make no sense, but it will. Now we want to put a block there, which is the red block like that. This is when it was retracted, the piston base, and where the piston will be mounted on. So you just want to do a line along here. There we go, and get in one of these grooves, and look directly up and put one in, and try to get in the next groove, um, and then you can just leave one block, and you can get rid of all these, just like that, and that's good, and then make another comb shape, like this, there we go, and now for the top here, so we're going to do dust, like this, um, so you don't want anything connecting laterally and then repeaters like this okay now I want to do a, put a block here another block here, a block up and get rid of those two and then take this along like this put it, um, torches on the side all the way along and I missed a few didn't I um, so where am I? There, there, and there. Now back here you want to do a line of two repeaters all the way along. This is just because otherwise the pistons with the glass will be extended uh, due to the uh, bug that is used in bud switches. Now to level out all these ticks, so the same amount, we're going to put one there. 
Um, there we go. So where the where there's no red blocks, put an extra repeater, and then just wait a second. Then just fill that up, fill the gaps up, just like that. And then here, you just want to switch between repeater and dust. So put dust repeater. There we go. Just like this, and then fill up the gaps with repeaters. And that's the wiring done, pretty much. Um, like this. So now, as you can see, these being on, or being selected, will pull up this one, which will not allow this, which will stop this piston being extended. But then, if we did that, the pistons after it would be extended. So this is where this block comes into play, and it t makes this line turn on as well, which pulls up this block, which stops this current from going from this repeater and jumping along and powering all the rest. Now I just noticed I haven't put the red blocks in so you just want to aim for the top of those like that and put in all those red blocks like this. <coughs> now to finish this off we want to put a block there with a the dust another block up like this or in fact yeah you can leave that like this. So that's that done. Now we want to set it today again and start working this round. There we go. Perfect. So this will be where you come in. Like this. Uh, there we go. And then you can just put in a torch somewhere around here. Um, where could we put it? We could put it there. Um, or we lever would probably be better because um, they're more or oh, they spread current less there we go, put some levers there um, awesome now for here we're coming in from this side so I'm going to put one then one like this so wait a second mm. so that's up one, so yeah so there'll be one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, and then you want five, except you can't do that. So you're going to leave that space and put one, and this is going to be five and five. Um, so you don't have to worry, you just put one there, and then two, th two, three, three, four. Now, if you're wondering what goes here, we're just about to put that in. Um, this is going to need a booster, a four tick delay booster. Um, so one, two and two, two and three, and one on four. Now we can just put tusk there and a repeater there. And you want four blocks there, 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 and there. You want dust there, dust there, and dust there. And then in that gap, you want a piston, a, piston, a repeater on four, once again facing the way you're going through the selector. So that's all that done. Now when I come along here what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to hit a detector rail around here and go and it will want to power this and this. So what we're going to do is we're going to do that. So we want the detector rail just like this and put it in around here. Now if you're playing on the Xbox what you want to do is you want to leave eight rails between this detector rail and this rail here so that here in my example I'm doing one two three four but you want to make sure there's eight rails there and it should work then we want to dig under well hmm yeah we'll dig underneath here and wait no we won't we'll pull out the current from there um, so when it goes over it will power this dust now we're going to want to take this away put it on this side or somewhere around here. Deal with that later. Right, so it's going to want to come along here, powering there. And it will also want to get some glowstone or something. There we go, glowstone. Or you could do a four, what they called. Oh, anyway, wait. So you want to put the glowstone there. Uh, or you could do a spiral up like some people do. 
Actually, no, that could be normal sandstone. Glowstone, glowstone. You just want to kind of box this in slightly. Um, not quite sure how we're going to power that. We could do this. But tip one there. And we need to get our lever back. So that's pretty much the only detector area we're going to need for the station. But something like that. Adjacent to it, you want that there. Awesome. And then you're going to want one next to it and another one next to that. Um, if we can. Oh no. We could do it like. Um, four there. Four there. Four there. And one there. Um, so what the that we've just made is a pulse extender which will extend the pulse um, now if we for now we just I don't know put it on the side we want this to come up um, and yes that's all no it's not all working my bad we want to build up like this put a repeater there um, a block there And build something like that. There we go. So now the current would go straight across um, if we selected different rails. And then we just want to kind of make a sort of tunnel for now. So there we go. We can do tunnel. Um, just like this. Perfect. Get these in. Um, there we go. So this tunnel wants to leave enough space for you to travel through it so you want to just have it that high make sure it's that high um, so that's where our dust will be passing over it um, awesome get rid of this one this needs to be so now we want to calculate the ticks now, tick one, it comes through here. Tick two, it goes through there. Tick three, these turn on. And so we want to make sure this happens later. So this is tick one, tick two, tick three. So we're going to want to add a tick there. And then get turn that lever off for now. Now, if we go and, I oh know, select that one test run and turn on the repeater on the, on the lever yep that's perfect um, before the empty space the rail should shoot out and then after it the um, glass should shoot down so now we can get rid of this there piece this together almost um, and then just build like that and you pretty much got that done um, so that's pretty just well all the wiring um, and you can give it a test run if you want. Um, put a normal rail there. Pull a button off the top, like that. Uh, so when you click that button, that's just temporary. Um, and just to make sure it all works, we're going to choose the second last one. Oh, there we go. So that see that the tick lasts long enough to get to the end. Yep the end there we go and obviously we're in this area that we haven't f dealt with yet um, and I'm supposed to have made some shoots on the side to get in and out okay um, so I made it all the way to the end and then choose the second one there we go like this yep now to fine-tune this what we want to do and well to make the um, experience best we want to put a block there so that if we come to the very last one we just fall hit this block and fall down because there's no glass to stop us and then we want to put all these to two just like this like that and um, add two to each one of these um, in fact I won't do that um, you can work that out if you want to 
do it slow mo, but I think it will actually be more complicated. Um, and it's not necessary. Alright, so if we just fill those back up with one, um, we can just add in some more ticks. Um, so add in two ticks there, and then two ticks there, there, and there. Um, and then it should be a bit, hopefully, should still work properly and be a bit nicer to use. Um, so if we just test the second last one again. There we go. The reason we're taking this, testing the second last and the second is because they will uh, they're at the extremes of time to make sure that it happens fast enough and doesn't stop too quickly. Um, and it also um, works. Um, sorry, also the glass works. So as you can see there, we could do with some more ticks around the place. So I'm going to replace that with four. And there we go. Put another two in. One, one, one. I know we've got a Peter in there. And that should work beautifully. Um, ah, something happened. Something went wrong there. And I'm not quite sure what happened. It seemed like we lost all momentum for some reason. I'll give that another shot. Watch the rail, see if one turns off. Yes. We lost all momentum, and I have no idea why. So, like all people who fiddle, we're going to have to put that back. Um, there we go. Um, Alright, oh, I know what's happened. The rails have been slowly moving out in front of us. We can try getting rid of a tick. Let's see if that will work. So here we're just literally just tinkering, fine tuning it to your station. Um, as you see here, I'm taking quite a while about it. And there we go, that's the best. That's the best we'll get. Um, so, thanks for watching, and goodbye.